Guys, we'll do an embargo for Mondays. Um, and if I could ask for a show of hands for the mics. If I could ask if you could give your name and organisation for your question, please. Hi, Neil Custis from The Sun. Um, Pep, I guess the only disappointment was that it wasn't maybe four, five or six. Uh, good afternoon. Well, I, I give, uh, yesterday in my co press conference, I said I, I give a lot of credit to Fulham. Uh, Fulham ask a lot uh, from us, uh, from them, so because they want to play, uh, they will they will do a lot of surprises in this Premier League, this team. So that's why I give a lot of credit what we have done. Of course, 3-0 uh, is a good result, but we create a lot, a lot of chances to score five, six, seven goals. It was so clear and we have to be more clinical in that situations because uh, the contenders are so tough and the goal difference always is important. Uh, and the last 50-20 minutes I, th I saw the team a little bit tired without desire to, to score more goals but maybe they decide to go to control but when that's happened you have less control. Um, but after international break always is complicated you know, to settle again in the team and that's why it's always dangerous that this kind of team games and, and that's why I'm satisfied for the result and especially the score for the performance because we fought a lot, we work a lot defensively, we spoke about that this yesterday because it's the first time we worked together yesterday and, uh, and we spoke of we are not able or capable to fight and run a lot against that team we will suffer because they, they want to play, they have a good build up Mitrovic is so strong in the air, and uh, Bieto and Schurle, they are the guys like like they will run in behind and they drive. And after the left back, the young guy is always dangerous. So that's why I give a lot of credit for our victory. James, just here, please. <coughs> Hi, Pepper. James Ducker from the Daily Telegraph. Um, but Bernardo. Um, Pep, obviously he, his quality on the ball has never been in doubt, but are you pleased with just how much stronger he looks? I mean, particularly for the second goal, maybe this time last year he would have been knocked off the ball, but mm. he won it, he was really strong, and then obviously the, the awareness to set up. How, how pleased are you with that side of his game as well as the quality, and how much do you, more do you think is to come from him? It's, it's, it's almost impossible to be more pleased as a manager. Like a manager with uh, with him, that's why he deserves to play all the minutes he's playing. He's a good example for all us, for all the guys. I don't forget, I don't forget the behavior he had last season when he played a lot, but not play in the start elf. And I don't forget the behavior he has in confront of his teammates. I never. So it's an example. Even last season, when the people explained to me many times about uh, Bernardo, I said. I don't know what's happening in the future, but if I am stay here, this guy will stay here um, because he's a special. So he's a smarter than the other ones because normally when you want to fight with one guy, it's not the moment. Is if, if, if he's going to fight one against one in the right tempo in the right moment, he's going to lose the ten times ten. But sometimes he's so clever and he fight the right moment when the other one is a little bit not stable on the grass, and that's why he's so intelligent. He can play in three, four or five positions. Unfortunately, he could not score the, the clear goal. He could score. But uh, he, he deserves all my respects, like a professional, like a football player, his quality. But normally, the statistics after the game, he's the guy who ran the most. All the time, every game, 12 kilometers or 11, 12, 13. And always in the right tempo, in the right sense. So thank you so much for Manchester City to buy, to buy that guy from Monaco. Uh, Pep, after the the season he's had uh, for Leroy Sané, was it was it nice for you to see him score so early? It helped him to relax and, and enjoy the game. Yeah, of course, of course, he helped not just Leroy in all of us, because the first two minutes before the goal, the only team was in the at the stadium was Fulham, and for okay, we we make a good pressing, they make a mistake, and and of course, when that situation the high pressing, Leroy, Sergio, Gabriel, Rush, Rahim, we are so quick. And we can create, and, and, and Fernandinho make an exceptional, an excellent. But uh, we, we never 
even in this period what uh, he didn't play, we never doubt about uh, Leroy quality. So we show us many times in the last years, especially last season. And today play again so good. But we cannot forget, sometimes this kind of thing happen. He's 21 years old, 22 years old. And these kind of things, a little bit up and downs happen in that age. And sometimes he has to realize for himself, like a professional has, he has to do. And, um, and the light for his performance, and big compliment. Pep, I know you answer questions about Phil Foden all the time, but when he's on the bench today and there's 20 minutes left and you're 3-0 up, what's your thought process in his development and what he can learn and why he doesn't come on today and why you use him? I feel guilty. I feel guilty. He deserves to play, he doesn't play. No, so, but the problem, they uh, had a problem, Sergio Aguero in the injury in the, in the first part of the... Of the of the first half, and I, I did, we didn't want to take a risk, but I feel guilty. He deserves to play every game. He doesn't play the last game, but he's going to play a lot of games this season. I feel it. So today, the guys after the game was so exhausted, tired. So and before, you know, one game a week. Now we start every three, four days, game, game, games. He's going to play. So I like a lot, Phil. Uh, every time he plays, he plays so good so well so he's going to play minutes so only I can say uh, you, uh, sorry Richard Tanner at the Express you mentioned Sergio there um, it appeared to jar his knee is that serious Would no something there? in the ankle he didn't feel in the cross like he jumps to you know when he fell down he felt something okay? he finished good the first half and the second half uh, start a little bit uh, uncomfortable he could play but after 3-0 no, no risk a worry for Wednesday, Leon. We will see tomorrow how we cap after you know night. We will see tomorrow. Okay, any more for the embargo? David Silva is his 350th uh, game. Not bad. We've spoken a lot before, but what does he mean to this this football club? He scored obviously on this milestone uh, game. Well, the under 50 games, you have to be a lot of time here. Uh, be healthy and be positive, good mentality. There's a lot of games. So he has to be so proud. I think I think our fans, the people here, are so proud of him, but he has to. He had to do that in uh, England with this type of play. He's not, you know, the guy of physicality and surviving that game with his intelligence. So big compliment him, his family. So it's a good, a good number. He started really well this season, that's why he played every every game. He's not international break, that's why he could rest and training. Yeah, he's, uh, he's so young. He's, uh, I think Manchester City bought uh, an exceptional player because he's so young. He's a good mentality in terms of... He played with 18, 19 years old against Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo every season. You know, and that you took a lot of experience. He has a lot of personality, he's not as scary. And his left central, you know, left side, left foot in the left side, and it's not easy to find, you know, he helps us to make that pass outside with a left foot, with a right foot, sometimes it's more complicated. So, yeah, but we are just in September, so a long time, and everybody's going bold, and hopefully he can maintain that level. Okay, an embargo, please, for 10.